All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I was uh, struck by some um, uh, results uh, statewide in New York uh, when it comes to education, how test scores for this, the regions have dropped significantly uh, because they changed the test and math and reading. I, I mean, we talk about New York City, for instance, about 30 percent of the kids are proficient in reading and math. And, I've, you know, education is something I, I, I think... I think uh, George Bush had it right, the bigotry of low expectations when it comes to education. Our country's education system is broken. It's severely broken. It's pathetic. It's horrific. Uh, now you got a guy, Cory Booker, running from, for uh, Senate in New, in New Jersey to replace Frank Lautenberg. Thank you, Chris Christie. He's probably going to win. Newark, New Jersey has some of the worst education in the world. It's not Cory Booker's fault, but he's been mayor there for a number of years now. He hasn't done anything, and I was going to sit in the U.S. Senate. And what's he going to be for? Pouring more money and more money and more money in the status quo, and things only get worse. Joining us now to talk about specifically um, uh, the his, his problems of uh, Hispanic uh, education in this country is our next guest, Julio Fuentes, President and CEO of Hispanic Council for Reform and Educational Options. Uh, hello, Julio. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Steve. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for taking the time to be with us. Um, I, I was a little surprised um, uh, to, to learn. Um, I mean, I know, again, you know, inner city schools, they, they, they stink all over the country, and, and a lot of minorities live in the inner cities, et cetera. But uh, I, I know that, that the Hispanic community, and again, nothing's monolithic, but the Hispanic community as a whole, and you could speak to this better than I, um, values education, puts such a, a, a strong value on education and, 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 and uh, you know, getting ahead through education that I was surprised to learn through your group that uh, often Hispanics face uh, higher school dropout rates, more likely to attend a disadvantaged school, which is not necessarily anybody's fault, lower overall academic achievement, and less likely to finish college. Why is that? Well, I mean, it's it's uh, it's definitely a, a reality out there, and it's something that I've I've been living since I've been in, uh, you know involved in this education reform movement as a whole. Uh, and yes, we do value um, you know education. Actually, we did a poll last year um, that showed that uh, education, right behind the economy, was the most important topic of discussions uh, for that the Latino community wanted to hear from their, their elected officials. Immigration uh, was number four, five on the list. So uh, education is definitely top. Unfortunately, the problem lies within our communities that just don't have choice, uh, that they're unfortunately, because of their economic situation, are just tied up to that failing public school that's right down the road because it just happens to be the zip, the zip code that they live in. Uh, and that's what we fight in. Uh, fight for day in and day out uh, at uh, Hispanic Day. Is, is school choice? Correct. Yeah. Correct. We, yeah. believe, we believe that the, the parents should have the right to choose the best quality education for their children, whether it's a, another public school, a private school, uh, home school, charter school, whatever it may be. But, but you know, school choice is, is definitely, uh, and it's, you know, and then again, it's not going to, it's not the silver bullet that's going to cure the crisis that you just mentioned leading into the, into this discussion. But um, in states like Florida, Arizona, we have been moving the, le the needle a little bit, and, and there's still a lot more work to do. And that's what that's what we're doing uh, with this new initiative that we have called Poduto 2020. Right. I was going to ask you about that, and I will ask you about that. But, of course, you know what you run up against are the traditional Democratic uh, uh, supporters in the teachers union, uh, which makes it uh, almost impossible for Democrats to to support the kind of change that's necessary uh, for to allow parents to 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 pick and choose, to allow schools to succeed and fail, to allow good teachers to succeed and move up, and, and bad teachers to, to be fired, uh, which would be the same in any business. And we entrust our most precious commodity of every race to the public school system, and it's uh, it's like the fix is in. Yeah, that's that's the unfortunate part of, of, of my job is, is um, you know, in my opinion, politics should not play a role in, in, in the, the, the role of a child of, of raising a child and having the best quality education but it's unfortunate that we got to go through that process we have to go uh through you know state by state and kind of look at the lay of the land and seeing who's republican who's democrat who's kind of leading this that that state senate and you know it's unfortunate because we are talking about children at the end of the day but um you know with with this movement again that, that we're we're creating with Futuro 2020. It's all in the voice of the people. Well, you know, talk we, talk we, about uh, Futuro 2020, uh, the initiative. What 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 is it all about? 
So Futuro 2020 is a national awareness campaign that we launched July 1st up there in D.C. And if I could point out real quick, I mean, yes, Hispanic Creo is, is, a, is an organization that focuses on our Hispanic community, but, but this is an American crisis that we have in our hands. An uneducated you know, workforce is not just a Latino issue. We're talking about an American crisis, like I said. But Futuro 2020 is a national awareness campaign um, that we are looking to build armies of parents, teachers, um, grassroots organizations, grass, top organizations, to raise more awareness of this crisis that we find ourselves in today, and more importantly, find a, a solution, or at least you know, find common ground that we can walk down together and, um, you know, to, to, to draft a, a policy statement that we could share um, you know, throughout this nation. Do you, do you see it is an America's problem? You're absolutely right, and I think that that's great. The inclusiveness is great, and obviously the more people involved, uh, the, the, the bigger the project, the better the chance of success. But do you, do you see this? Uh, I mean, in reality, is this not, does it not break down between, uh, along political lines for the most part where, you know, Republicans and, and conservatives would be uh, within your community would be in favor of this kind of thing and Democrats uh, would not? Well, yes. I mean, if you just lay it down as simple as that in black and white, it, it is. It is a party line, um, you know, debate. But uh, so do Republicans you know, have that opportunity to, to, to come in here? And as we hear so much about, I mean, you know, the media would have us believe that the Hispanic community and you don't speak for the Hispanic community. Nobody does. But uh, the, the media would have us believe that they do. Uh, and the Democratic Party would have us believe that they do. And that the utmost uh, the, the matter of utmost importance to the uh, Hispanic community and the only way Republicans can gain favor with the Hispanic community is through comprehensive immigration reform when in fact you know the Pew Research Center did a, a, a study of the people leaving the polls in 2012 Hispanics and they found that that was fourth or fifth on the list that's right that's right that's absolutely right and 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 um, you know it's 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 an uphill battle in, in new states that we go into work in but uh, for example states like Florida we do have uh, 97 percent uh, support of the entire Hispanic caucus on, on our education reform initiative that, that we have been putting in place there. Arizona slowly but surely seems to be turning that, that, that road. And, I, you know, I, again, when, when you bring it back home, whether you're talking to, you know, that parent, that business owner or that elected official sitting in their office, literally just talking about the crisis. And if I, you know, every time I seem to walk into one of these offices with a child or a parent that's going through the struggle that I just explained earlier, you know, it's kind of tough to really you know, part from, from your heart and, and absolutely. All right, Unfortunately, so, we still see it, but you know, well, we, I should also point out to the folks that, uh, you are of Cuban descent. you got your degree in business uh, administration from Iona, uh, not okay. too far from where I'm sitting, I'm, uh, up North a little bit. And, uh, that's located in New Rochelle. And, uh, uh, we appreciate you coming on. Just tell folks real quick how they could, uh, get more information about your, uh, your endeavor with Futuro 2020. Well, I would encourage folks to go visit Futuro 2020.org. Uh, read a little bit more about it, and of course, follow us on the Facebook and Twitter and the whole social media campaign that we currently have going on. Okay, and uh, I will follow you, and I hope in return you'll follow me a little later on when I get home tonight. So thank you very much, and, and let's uh, keep in touch and keep informed on how we could uh, help make this a reality. I appreciate your time. All right, thank you. Julio Fuentes, ladies and gentlemen, President and CEO of Hispanic Council for Reform and Educational Options. And uh, again, what he's doing, uh, you know, Focusing on the Hispanic community, which is his community, um, and 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 being inclusive about it, and saying we realize other communities are involved as well or need to be.